Hey everyone, it's time for another science demonstration. So last week we learned a lot about physical and chemical changes. This week we're talking specifically about a specific kind of physical change. We're talking about mixtures and solutions. So as you know about physical changes, when an item is changed in a physical change, all you're changing is the appearance of it. It is not chemically different at all. It retains all the same properties as it had before. It just might look a little bit different. So that's what happens with a mixture. When you mix, when you make, when you make a mixture, you're combining two or more things, and those things keep the same properties that they had before. It might be mixed in with something else. So I'm going to demonstrate that with a little bit of a snack. So I'm going to be making a favorite of mine, I'm going to be making trail mix. So everybody has different ingredients that they like in their trail mix, so since this is mine, these are my favorite ingredients. I'm going to be using cashews, butterscotch chips, marshmallows, M&Ms, and raisins. Can't wait to show you how this is going to work out. To make my mixture, I have to put all of my ingredients into one bowl. So I'm going to dump each one. As you can see, my snack right now is just a bit layered. So I need to go ahead and do what we've been talking about and mix it up. As you can see when you're looking at my mixture, it's no longer five layers of different snacks, but it is all mixed together. Even though they're mixed, they still keep the same qualities they had before. Another quality about a mixture is that you can undo the mixture. So if I were to take, if I were to scoop some out, I could separate them back into their different groups. So as you can see, I took what I had as a mixture and I split them back up into their groups of cashews, marshmallows, raisins, butterscotch chips, and M&Ms. But they used to be mixed up just like this. So with a mixture, you can easily undo it by simply separating your groups. So in my trail mix, all of my ingredients were mixed together but it kept all the same properties because it was a physical change. Now let's talk about a specific kind of mixture called a solution. When you have a solution, you have two or more ingredients, just like with the trail mix, except all of your ingredients are evenly mixed throughout, which means that if I'm looking at it, it's going to have the same amount of something in each little part. Let me show you what I mean by making lemonade. When we look closely at the lemonade, we can't really tell that it used to be sugar and flavoring and water. It all looks like it is mixed evenly together. You can't really see the difference between the different particles. So this is what makes it a solution because all of the parts are evenly distributed throughout. Now I know what you're thinking. You said that mixtures can be undone. How do you undo making lemonade? One of the ways that you can do this is through boiling it. If I were to take this lemonade and put it on the stove and boil it, what would happen is the water would evaporate from it and what would be left is the sugar and the flavoring. There are other ways that you can do it, but that's the easiest way to separate lemonade, which goes to show that this solution is a type of mixture. So, as you can see, both of these examples are examples of mixtures. The trail mix is an example of a basic mixture because it has two or more substances that are mixed together. They all keep their properties and they are easy to separate. 
The lemonade is a specific example of a mixture because it is a solution with sugar, flavoring, and water mixed evenly throughout so that you can't necessarily see them, but it is a physical change because you can separate them if you really wanted to. To learn more about these different kinds of mixtures, you need to go to your digital textbook and read today's reading. Also, make sure that you check out the Microsoft Forms assignment that is due with this as well. If you have any questions, you know where to reach me. Have a great day.